Hey everybody, did it really here? Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Period Cube, Shackles of Amadeus. We are on Zane's route, possibly the ending with him. Not completely certain, but I think so. When I'm recording this on Rob's channel, Romantic Gaming, you can hear Hiroyo's route, and he's probably started a new route by now, but I'm not sure who he's playing at the moment. But you can head over there for additional videos. Link in the description and in the cards. But for now, let's continue on with Zane. There's all kinds of stuff going on in his head, and he's trying to stop my brother from killing a whole lot of people and destroying this world. And Demento is actually helping us. Strangely enough. So let's see how this plays out. You can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. What? What are you doing here? I had to be. You had to? I promised I'd be by your side, right? Huh? That's right. Swirling in the great flow of data, we joined hands, or something like hands. Where we touched, we melted. We combined. We melded. It feels amazing. Look, over there. Beyond the stream of data shone a nucleus of light. It's so pretty. That's the period cube. I'm going to shut it down. Let's free everyone and go to the real world. I'm not scared when you're here. Yeah. We approached the light and reached out. I was connected to you this whole time, so I actually probably wasn't alone. But even so, I couldn't hear your voice. I felt so lonely. With a deep melancholy in his voice, Zane looked crestfallen. But with your help, I was able to find someone very precious to me. I'm not lonely anymore. Thank you, Period Cube, for allowing me to meet her. Goodbye. Oh man, okay, so they're just going straight into the credits. You better give us an epilogue. You better, you better, you better. Because I do not like sudden stops in a story. Oh, well, look at that recording studio, Rockin' Banana. That is an awesome name for a studio. Uh, and of course I had to remove the music because, you know, copyright. So sorry about that. But next I'm doing Demento because, you know, <laughs> that's just the kind of person I am. But you're talking to someone who really hates plain drama or romantic comedies, anything like that. I only like horror movies and action movies. There has to be a threat of death or I'm bored. Ah, there's my Zane waiting for me in the real world, in a new outfit. And with his original silver hair. He's not black-haired. Come on, epilogue. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Sorry for keeping you waiting. Eh, we get to see his outfit. Not at all. Are you off work now? Yeah, just finished my shift. Hey, Zane. No, Minato. You forgot something. Oh, Hiroya. Man, it's still so weird to call you Minato. I'm not used to it yet. Well, if no one else is around, you can call me Zane. I don't mind. Aw, that's kind of, I don't know why I feel like that's kind of sweet. <laughs> Alright, Zane. You left your phone in the back room. Here you go. Oh, my mistake. Thank you. Oh, Kazuha, didn't see you there. How's it going? Good. Glad you're doing alright. I was worried the job would wear you out. Kinda, but eh, you get used to it. You're a really hard worker, Hiroya. The manager said you were sensitive to customers and a quick learner. Nah, I'm pretty sure you're the more valuable employee. Aw, well, aren't you too sweet and humble? You know just how to cover for all my mistakes. I owe ya. So, you two make a good team, actually. I'm glad to hear you say that. <laughs> you guys have such a cute relationship. Yeah, I'm almost feeling this should be a yaoi thing. Hey, we don't. And we're not cute. <laughs> Look at you blushing, though. How can you say that while you blush like that? But seriously, you and Hiroya have both helped me so much. When I first got here, even with Demento's, Minato Kurosaba's memories, there was still a lot that confused me. That's wild, though. The way you've inherited some stranger's memories. Yeah, I think that's probably the effect of the period cube. It can digitize souls so they can be preserved forever. Through data conversion and storage of memories. Yeah, that's a pretty common premise. Only merged 
I think his memory data was written into my own data. Huh? Well, can't say I totally understand the whole process myself. But still, the fact that you've gotten so acclimated to life here already, I can tell you've worked really hard. I guess. Several months had passed. Zane was bewildered at first, but fortunately, he had all of Demento's memories from the real world. He says he thinks it's an effect of the period cube, but that can't be all. I think Demento came to respect Zane and donated his memories to him. I kind of thought they would fuse. You took the convenience store job out of concern for me, didn't you, Hiroya? Well, I mean, I needed the extra cash anyway. It all worked out. Anyway, I gotta get back. See ya. All right, work hard. Come on, let's go. We don't want to miss hospital visiting hours. It's okay, we can take our time. Is it my brother we're visiting? The day after we all returned to the real world, my brother was discovered collapsed in the university lab room. They rushed him to the hospital, but he lost all memory of the past few years. He didn't remember anything, nothing of World V or the period cube. It's been months since then, but he's still dazed and bedridden. Ultimately, we never learned just why he had done something like that. But I don't care if he ever remembers. I just want to laugh and talk with my brother again. I hope Shiki's doing all right. After all that, you still care? Thanks so much for coming with me to see him. Don't worry about it. I'm coming because I want to. Um, I hope you don't find it awkward. Awkward? Why? Uh, because he controlled you and tried to kill you? Well, you know, Shiki did so many awful, horrible things to you. Oh, that. It's all in the past. Well, you're awfully forgiving. Besides, I was wrong too. I nearly did a horrible thing to you guys myself. I'm in no position to condemn Shiki. There's no awkwardness, no grudges. Hope Shiki feels the same if he remembers things. But he's right, that's a good way to look at things. He's not a hypocrite. Thank goodness. What? You were worried about that? Yes, a little. I wouldn't even exist if it weren't for him. I owe him a lot. You are the kindest person I know. Being with Zane like this in the real world, it just makes me so happy. But I couldn't say that out loud. You could. What is it? You got quiet. It's nothing. That means it's something. Tell me. <laughs> He's got your number. Oh! Huh? You guys are here too. Hey, Radius, join the party! Oh, Ray! Radius, good to see you. Don't use that name, stupid. Since we got back, we've run into Ray at the hospital numerous times. Are you here for another checkup? Yeah. They're calling what I had sudden onset idiopathic coma. But today was the last time. Results came back and I'm clear to go. Congratulations. I'm so happy to hear that. I guess. This is the last time I'll see you guys here. Yeah, it's almost too bad. Well, we could exchange numbers. We were just getting to know you. We live in the same world. I'm sure we'll run into each other again. Not if you don't exchange numbers, you might not. There's a lot of people in the world. The same world. We do, don't we? See ya. Come on, we should go too. I know Shiki will be pleased to see her face. Oni-chan, I'm here! Bye, Shiki. We'll come back soon. Oh, bye. Never mind. Never mind the hi. We didn't even get to see him. They could have at least showed his face. As I closed the door, I sighed. You think I'll be like that forever? I tried talking to him about all sorts of things, but there was no response. I think miracles really do happen. Miracles. I mean, I'm an NPC from Arcadia, and I'm standing right here. It took a series of coincidences for me to be here in the real world. It's nothing short of a miracle to me. Zane. So, I don't think it's too strange to imagine a miracle helping Shiki, too. Yeah, you might be right. Looking back on it, everything that happened in World V was a miracle. It's kind of crazy to think that the people I met in World V are here, living among us in the real world. I wonder how they're all doing. Huh? Have I seen him somewhere before? Yep, just change his hair color and give him wings. 
and he's not going to say anything. He looks so strangely familiar, but maybe I'm just imagining it. Hmm? What's up? No, it's nothing. Don't worry. Was he visiting Shiki too? No matter where you go in the real world, it's so crowded. It's amazing. Well, today's a holiday, so there are probably more people than usual. Hold my hand so we're not separated. Uh, okay. You know, you don't have to use an excuse, Zane. My finger is intertwined with his. I still feel a bit embarrassed to do this, but it does make me happy. It's not like before. Now we're... boyfriend and girlfriend, I guess. As I thought of it, my heart pounded. Your hands. They're so tiny and smooth. I find them very cute. Aw, back to the cute thing again. <laughs> I love it when he calls everything about me cute. I'm so thankful to the period cube. After all, it's the reason I found you. To Demento as well. I wish I'd been able to talk with him more. He didn't have any goals or dreams. Just a part-time job to stay alive. Oh, that's really sad. And he hated himself, but he couldn't change, so he just gave up. His loneliness was one thing we shared. I feel like that's why we merged. Zane. I don't know what I want to do in life, but I hope I can find it soon enough. Me too. I'm sure we'll both find it together. That would be awfully nice. I noticed something amazing recently. What? Even though the real world is full of all these people, you still look at me. Isn't that amazing? It's far more incredible than if the world only had the two of us in it. Doesn't it make it much more gratifying? I'm filled with joy. Me too. We glanced at each other and smiled. Everything was going to be fine because we found the true joy in our lives. What should I do? Huh? About what? You are just so cute. What should I do? <laughs> mm, I want to kiss you right now. Go for it. Huh? But if we do it here, you'll probably be flustered. That's okay. I can deal with it. Um, Zane, face this way. <laughs> hmm? I'm taking the initiative. I stood up on my tiptoes and gave him a quick peck on the cheek. Well, that's for starters. What? Huh? That's the most I can do out here. Uh. He's not saying anything. I knew he'd be startled, but... The embarrassment welled up in me, and I quickly looked down at the ground. Uh, um, I, uh, s sorry, I... It's no use. I tried to hold back. See, you started the engine. Huh? Um, but... <laughs> I didn't expect you to just kiss me. I just wanted to touch you a little bit. But now that's not enough. I want more. Uh, I just wanted to surprise you a bit. That's all. People are watching. Didn't you start it? Don't run away. Uh, he leaned me back and kissed me more. So warm. The warmth of a true living human. I'm just too greedy, aren't I? Even being by your side isn't enough for me anymore. <laughs> I just want more and more of you. You must hate me for being this way. I could never hate you. After all, I'm greedy too. Then, I guess you and I are the same. Finally! That's right, we're the same. You're everything to me. I love you. And I love you. Finn... I guess that divide worked out pretty well. Let's see. Do we have anything new popped up in the album? Oh, we had a special on his perspective. Alright, since we got a little extra in this video, we're going to read this special, his perspective. Blue is the color of work. I worked all day yesterday. I had today off. Then tomorrow afternoon, midnight the next. Red is the color of rest. Today is shopping with her day. I write a lot more on my calendar now. She gave me a large day planner soon after I arrived in the real world. Write down anything confusing, okay? The note column filled up in a flash, but
but the calendar was still blank. The first thing I wrote was, trash day, since all I could do was clean up. Demento's room was overwhelming, but in time I got it cleaned up. It was fun. She was impressed. That made me happy. I was so excited to see her smile again. I drew a thick circle around today. Minato! Hearing a voice call my name, I tossed the planner into my bag. Did you get into some sort of trouble? She ran up and looked at me worriedly. When we go out together, we always meet up in front of the convenience store. She clearly didn't expect to see me show up at her school. Not at all. Just came to see you. She put her hand to her chest in relief. Oh my goodness, you scared me. Does she know she's unbearably cute when she's surprised? I might tell her. And I wanted to see her school, too. Oh yeah? You want to tour? I considered it, but shook my head. Sometime when there's a sport day or a school culture festival. I better write that in my calendar. My planner's filling up. The pages are a rainbow of color now. Come on, let's go shopping. Sounds good, I'm ready. We walked together toward the station. I noticed she was acting a little odd. She wouldn't meet my eyes. I wanted to hold hands like usual, but she had a tight grip on her bag strap. Something the matter? I took a chance to break the silence. Sorry, I was just a little nervous. Nervous? Why? As I tilted my head, she looked down, even more embarrassed than usual. Her face and neck blushed a bright red. At school, everyone was looking at us because you're so handsome. Handsome? She nodded, still self-conscious. She called me handsome. I almost pulled out my planner to write it down, but remembered I had no room. Come on, it's shopping time. She was still fidgeting nervously, but I grabbed her hand and tugged her along. I have to buy myself a notebook. There's a lot less that confuses me now, but there's more I want to remember. My happiness, my excitement, my joy. That notebook will become a rainbow. A notebook? I burst out laughing and nodded. A thick one. I've got a lot to write. Then, oh, that was short but sweet and cute. And you see, you get his stats and all that. So yeah, as we unlock the guys, we'll unlock these screens. And we can try, we can check out these affection voices later on. I don't want to change all my settings around in order to be able to hear them at the moment. Because it took me a while to tweak them to be what they are at the moment. Uh, real name, none. Blood type, none. What? Come on, he's got to have at least a blood type. He has to have Minato's blood type. I guess we'll have to wait till we unlock Demento. <laughs> Birth date, none. Reality, none. <laughs> Hobby listening to people's stories. Specialty, server data analysis. I guess that's what he's going to do in the future as his job. Favorite food, pot au feu? Or something like that. Extra vegetables. Dislikes lemons. And that's our Zane. Yep, so tomorrow I will be starting on Demento's route. We'll be skipping the common route, any previously read material, so you won't have to worry about hearing things again that you already heard before. Hope to see you there or in some of my other videos. And I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. Do you really signing out? Bye-bye, everybody.